Thanks for all the help decorating, Billy. I've been so busy baking my Halloween cooking. Hmm, keys? Hmm, that's strange. Usually when I say cookies, Rox is here in a flash to taste test them for me. Yeah, he's been saving room for trick-or-treating. He's been working on his plan for weeks. <gasps> and according to the plan and my tummy, it's time to go. Happy Halloween, Hockey! Bye! Uh, Billy, is this the speed you plan on driving the whole way back? Hmm. I only ask because according to the plan, Stop! you have to... Bridge inspection. Sorry, you'll have to wait. <sighs> come on, come on, come on! Yes! No! Don't worry, Rox. I've got this. Hi, Melinda. Mind if we squeeze by? You see, it's Halloween and... Let me guess. You're in a hurry to go trick-or-treating. Well, yes, actually. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to... Ask if I could join you, because that sounds like a lot of fun. Of course you can. And don't worry, I have hundreds of costumes you can try on. I do like to consider all options before making a big decision. One by one. <gasps> <laughs> no! You know you're not wearing a watch, right, Rox? <laughs> Melinda, you, um, look, uh... Exactly the same as you did an hour ago. <laughs> the same? The same? Obviously, my hat is crooked, and my socks are barely pulled up all the way. I look terrifying. <laughs> okay, let's hit the road. Ah, uh, what now? I started trick-or-treating early, and now my tummy aches. Oh. No, that should be my tummy ache. An odd pun needs help. Better get set. This jump's for Billy. Half pig, half poodle. This odd paw is our friend Pigoodle. I feel more like half trick and half treat at the moment. Don't worry. A spoonful of this medicine will make you feel better. Oh, oh, oh. My tummy still aches. <laughs> hmm. It'll take a little longer than that, I'm afraid. Trust me. As a dino pup, I know a thing or two about tummy aches. Uh-oh! Don't worry. Billy will have you feeling better in no time. And I'm gonna wait right here until you do. Really? You betcha! Thank you. I feel much better now. Yeah. Billy's always right when it comes to feeling better. Rox, I think there's still time for trick-or-treating. Just try to stop me. You didn't have to actually stop me. your trick-or-treating rocks. I know it was important to you. <sighs> That's okay. There's always next year. You've already started planning for it, haven't you? Yep. Next year, that tummy ache will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> We've saved everything.
every odd paw we've ever met. Way to go, Billy the Odd Paw Vet. Billy the Odd Paw Vet. I can't say no to a mud bob. But wait, I just got my fur the way I like it. But it's mud. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just dip a trotter in. <laughs> Whoa, I regret nothing. I regret everything. Ugh. Whoever invented mud is a very naughty so-and-so. It just doesn't go in a civilized forest. <laughs> I better check that out. Is everything okay over here? <gasps> ah! Swamp monster! <laughs> ah! <sighs> it's okay. Melinda is in control. <laughs> Maybe not. Billy, do you copy? <laughs> I can't believe I let you do this. Team, I just got a super strange message from Melinda saying she saw a swamp monster. Sounds more like an odd paw to me. Anyway, she needs our help. All right, I'm pretty much done here. Now I look like a swamp monster. This jumps for Billy! <laughs> Billy the Odd Paw Vet! Um, are you okay there? Stay back, miss! I've got a sponge and I'm not afraid to use it! Billy, thank goodness you're here! Hi, Melinda. Where is this swamp monster? It's over there! <laughs> hmm, you don't sound like a monster. I'm just gonna scan you with my otoscope. Half pig, half poodle. This odd paw is a pig goodle. Oh, well, easy mistake to make. No harm done, eh? That's a mighty big bump on your head. It's fine. It just makes me a little dizzy. Ooh. Whoa, <laughs> I better take a look at that at the clinic. Rox, help me get Melinda into the odd buggy. Leave it up to the dino pup. Pigoodle, fancy a cleanup? Clean? Why, absolutely not. My mud, my mud. But no, I like clean. <laughs> Nova, fetch an odd carrier for our Pigoodle mm. pal. Clean, muddy, clean. This way. And whatever you do, don't shake your fur. Now, I normally don't treat humans, but I've got some ointment I think should do the trick. As long as it's not mud, I don't care. <sighs> I guess that means we're on fur cleaning duty. We really drew the short straw. Speak for yourself. Not my precious mud. Wait, yes, get rid of it. No, yes, no, yes. <laughs> ah, careful, rocks. Uh, aha, aloe vera cream. This should be very soothing. Well, it certainly sounds like mud. Ooh, that is soothing. <laughs> Smells good, too. Told you. Oh. Sorry, there's just so much mud. A pig oodle's fur can actually hold the most mud of any odd paw. Enough for all of us combined. Not all of us. This is what I was born to do. Yeah! Hey, <laughs> <Hi> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> My fur! It's so clean! Hooray! Melinda!
Linda, that was incredible. And it's the least I could do, after you made my head feel so much better. I hope you don't miss your mud too much, huh? Pagoodle? Resist. <laughs> we've saved every odd paw we've ever met. Way to go, Billy, the odd paw vet. Billy the odd paw vet. Three, <gasps> two, one, showtime. Oh. <sighs> if you're waiting for the fireworks, then you're out of luck. Far too loud and unruly for my park, so I banned them. Uh, Melinda, if you ban the fireworks, what's that? Fireworks! Not there! No, no! Come on, team! That Obpaw's gonna need our help! Especially if Melinda finds him before we do! An Obpaw needs help! Get it at set! This job for Billy! The Obpaw Vets! What a mess! Who is responsible for this? Maybe we can help clean it up. Really? You do that? Yeah! Leave it up to the dino pup. I'll deal with that. I'm a unicorn cat. Billy, look! Uh, why don't we split up to cover more ground? Rocks, you help Melinda clean up over there. While Nova and I start by the rock wall, for no particular reason. Are those words he's saying? I think we might have to lean in close to hear this tiny odd paw. Let me go, wall. I'm warning you, I will ram you. Whoa, 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 no need for ramming, little guy. We're here to help. But first, Otoscope, let's go. Half rhino, half hamster, this odd paw is a ramster. <laughs> now, let's see about getting you out of this mess. I'm gonna try pulling, gently. Let me know if this hurts. A bit to the left. Mm. Now, half a bit to the right. Now, ah! Ah! What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Just, um, stubbed my toe. <laughs> hmm. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. A scooch to the left. <sighs> okay. I see now that horn is extra sensitive. If only we had a way to loosen the plaster around it. Perhaps I can lend a horn to help his horn. Great thinking, Nova. Ah, gotcha. That wall is so lucky, I was just about to ram it! Right. I think we should get you back to the clinic to see what's going on with your horn. I'll get an odd carrier. And we should get a splint on you for safe travel. Aha! This splint will hold your sore horn in place. There you go. How's that feel? Like I want to ram it! Ah! In you go. Oh, hi, Melinda. We were, um, just going back to the clinic for cleaning supplies. Okay, but hurry. Lots to do still. <gasps> no wonder you're in a ramming mood, Ramster. You've got a broken horn. It's going to need a cast. A cast? That sounds painful. No way. Well, maybe you could focus on something else while we work. Oh, how about you tell us how you ended up on that rocket in the first place? Well, I was minding my own business in the odd, odd woods when I came across a wooden crate beside the road. I was just about to ram it when I saw the perfect curly wood shaving for my den. I 
tried to pull it out, but it wouldn't budge, which made me want to ram, ram it. it. <laughs> I tried everything. Finally, I had no choice but to ram it. Right. Oh, hey, this feels pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> we've saved every odd pop we've ever met. Way to go, Billy, the odd pop vet. from Mama Dirtle and... What's all this? Did you scare him again, Nova? We've talked about this, but it's fun! <coughs> Fine. Sorry, Rox. <coughs> Uh-oh. I said I was sorry, Rox. I just cleaned my fur. <coughs> that was an accident, I promise. <coughs> Come on, we've got to do this quickly. Mama Dirtle needs our help. Sorry, Nova, but we're going to have to get you cleaned up first. Not water! Did I mention that I was sorry? Maybe she didn't hear me? Uh, oh, oh my, those are strange noises. Hmm, you don't look so good, my widow dirtle wordle. Mama Tuttle. Oh, my poor baby. Stay here. I'm going to get you some help. I'll be right back. <laughs> don't worry, buddy. She won't stay mad at you forever. Ah, uh, it already feels like forever. <laughs> The bush is alive! It's okay, Rox. Look, Otisco. Oh, cute little webbed feet. Bumpy green shell. Adorable orange beak. Half duck, half turtle. It's our odd paw friend, Dirtle. Hello, Mama Dirtle. We got here as quickly as we could. Thank goodness. Follow me. My baby is really sick. Okay with your baby mama dirtle. Lovely shell. Orange adorable beak. Front legs 100% cute. Oh, and look at those beautiful eyes. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Let's get your baby back to the care clinic and run some more tests. Don't worry, little dirtle. We'll have you feeling better in no time. I've got the up carrier, Billy. Okay, little cutie, let's have a look. Is she okay, Billy? Can you see what's wrong? I, the, the scanner won't hurt her, will it? The scanner is made for odd paws. It's perfectly safe. Oh, wow. Look at all that gas in her tummy. <laughs> and it looks like she might have eaten some bread. Bread? Well, I, I have never given her bread. Bread can make Dirtles very sick. It's okay. Sometimes baby Dirtles eat things they shouldn't. It happens. It's just an accident. Hmm. Just an accident? Some lake movements should help with your trapped wind. See? That's better. <laughs> 
open wide. Now this medicine will make your tummy feel better, but it also might make you <laughs> need to use the potty. The dirtle potty's that way. Oh, come on, I'll take you. <laughs> we've saved every odd paw we've ever met. Way to go, Billy, the odd paw vet. Hey, Rox. I know you didn't mean to squirt that cream on me earlier. I forgive you. You do? Oh. Too far? I see that now. Rox! Uh, I think I'm getting a cold. <laughs> what a bounce-tacular, boing-horrific, lippity-loopity day for jump steps! Oh, fiddle frogs. <laughs> It's definitely getting colder. What? Your feet are getting cheesier? Well, this is not boring horrific. <laughs> it's really the odd pop that! Stop! I'm down here! <laughs> What was that? Sorry, when I get the honk sneezes, I really get the honk sneezes. <laughs> I'm just gonna scan you with my otoscope. Half elephant, half frog. This odd pot is an elephrog. I love your nose. It's even bigger than mine. Poor thing, you definitely have the sniffles. Well, come down with us to the care clinic and we'll get you feeling all better. I'll go get the odd carrier. Rabbit. Or you could just get in yourself. An odd pun needs help. Better get set. This jumps for Billy. I'm just gonna take your temperature. Open wide. <laughs> High temperature, red nose, super loud honk sneezes. All of these are the signs of <gasps> germs. <laughs> Gross. Nasty things, germs. Completely <laughs> invisible. And it doesn't take much for them to spread. Spread? Spread it. How? Just like that. Wow. Right, we've got to act fast before our Ellie Frog friend turns this place into one giant germ. Rox, Nova, you're my clinic cleanup team. Take this and spray it on all the surfaces. It'll get rid of those nasty germs. You got it. Let's make it a game. Whoever gets the most germs wins. Ooh, ooh, or first to use up their spray. Or hide and seek. Ah, oh, I love hide and seek. Now those super strong honk sneezes are gonna need some super strong medicine. What's that? It's a nasal spray. It goes up your nose. Up my nose? Up her nose? Oh, be brave, Ellie Frog. Um, I'm not so sure about that, Billy. Don't worry, it's totally safe. Just relax and... Uh, jump! <laughs> that's what you were gonna say, right? Okay, if that's what you want! Jumping? No, Ellie Frog! Come back! What? <laughs> oh, okay. 
I know it's a bit scary to do something you've never done before, but it won't hurt. Watch. <laughs> that doesn't look so bad. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, and... There. That wasn't so bad, was it? Not at all! <laughs> it was kind of tickly. <laughs> and we're all done cleaning over here. Thank you so much, Billy! I feel boing a ribbon around! <laughs> so, all is well, and no one had to put anything up Roxy's nose. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, Rox. You can do this. Oh, no. <laughs> we've saved no, no, no. every odd paw we've ever met. Way to go, Billy, the odd paw vet. <sighs> nope, nothing up there. Oh, my stomach is so empty. I'm so, so, so hungry. I wish I had a <gasps> honey. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> Whoa! A ferret! Half bear, half parrot, and half beehive? Uh, you need some help there. Oh, so sorry about that. I didn't mean to sting you. Although, I am going to have to ask you for that hive back. It is our house, you know. <laughs> Don't worry, we're on it. Billy, do you copy? We've got an odd paw in need of help. Read you loud and clear, Nova. What's wrong? We've got a ferret with a bee sting. And a beehive on his head. Yikes. All right, Nova, we're on our way. An odd paw needs help. This jump for Billy! you out of that beehive in no time. Um, yeah, whatever you said. Huh? This oh. way. <laughs> nope. And now, in you go. Uh, into the opulence. Please bring it back in one piece. The other bees will be very upset if their house gets damaged. Don't worry, we'll be back soon. Okay, let's bring in our odd pot patient. Yeah. I did not sign up for a workout. Right. First things first, we need a little smidge of ointment for that bee sting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm on it. She said a smidge rocks. There. Feeling better? Oh, much better. <laughs> and now the trickier part, getting that beehive off your head. <laughs> yep, that's wedged on pretty tight. We're going to have to be super careful so we don't damage the hive. <laughs> it's no good. The honey is too sticky. And too delicious. Fox, you're drooling everywhere. Like always. Wait, that's it. We need to make him drool. Then the beehive will slide right off. You know, with this honey, we can make some delicious flapjacks. Flapjacks? <gasps> and some honey glazed carrots. Honey glazed carrots? And a big honeycomb banana split sundae. 
Well, that is slick today. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, and, um, uh, spaghetti with honey. Uh, it's working. It's working. I'm going to pull off the slobbery beehive now. We did it. I'm free. Now, where are those honey glazed carrots? <laughs> Here you go, Queen Bee. Good as new. And without a ferret hanging off it. <laughs> Wonderful! The other bees will be so pleased. And this is for you. Your very own jar of honey. For the next time you're feeling a little peckish, hmm? Peckish? <gasps> Thanks, your royal queenness. And sorry for all the trouble. And thank you guys. You make me feel all better. We've saved every odd paw we've ever met. Way to go, Billy, the odd paw vet. <gasps> okay, a little help. <laughs>